like should have happened after like where I'm at now. You know, thank God I still got that car, but damn, like can we refinance them over? Like, you know, <laughs> everybody understand that. But I, I got my hunger back when I got ready to fight again. It like made me feel like damn. I should what fight was that? Man, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Was it, was it out here in the main when all three I was on the No, no, no. Um when I fought John Jackson, that's what I was on. That's when that's when I got my hunger back. That's what I was on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got ready to fight for a world title that I never thought I would get. You know, I got ready to defend myself and defend my brother. Man, bro, I had more pressure on me during that fight than I had in my whole career, my whole life, everything. Even having a kid, I felt more nervous than that night because my brother wanted to make history. The only way my brother could make history is me winning that night. And I got it done. I was losing that fight. I had a lot of pressure on me, though. But that fight also was a fight with my transition from Ronnie Shields to Derry James and listening and applying myself in the corner. A lot of people don't know that boxers have to understand what's going on, what your coaches is seeing at the same time of you trying to really dictate the fight. So I got to tell him, shut up. I got to tell him, let me hear. I got to yeah, I gotta tell him, to stop yelling at me. And every round it feels like I had a whole bunch of that. You can go back over the fight. I get mad every time I watch. I don't want no, no, you can never talk to me crazy. I don't need disrespect and damn don't need disrespect in between the time I'm putting my life on the line. So I'm out of that situation. And I don't think Derrick James will ever disrespect me because we're like best friends. We talk every day, it's like, what's up, dude? Boy, don't call me, boy. Sound too, coach, I'm just waking up. You know, that's the coach I got. So I'm very happy to have him in my life in a transition. Earl Spence has been one of the best things that happened to me in my career. Earl, there's Landy Laura was someone that I sparred with for years and years and years, but I was there to help him get better. I wasn't there to help myself get better, but the advantage that I had in this whole situation is me taking advantage of the training that I had with Erz Landy Laura. It wasn't the, the advantage that, oh, he better than me or none of that. No, the advantage of like me sparring with a Cuban, me getting the, the work that I need, and then all of a sudden, I make that transition to become a man, and then I start sparring with a man that I feel like is a man, and that's that's that Spence. The man hit hard. He hit me hard as I've ever been hit in my life. The man trained aggressively. I can't look at him slack because I'm going to be wiped out. Coach will know that I'm not on my P's and Q's because of the training that I have a lot. I mean, with, with, with the Spence. What's the secret sauce in that gym? The temperature. The temperature in the ring. I ain't going to tell you no more. Were, That's it. Were you disappointed when Derrick James didn't get trained over here? Can you well, speak I, still, to that? I still feel like Derrick James did get trainer of the year. Much respect to Reem because they re they recognize it. I didn't get fighter of the year. Maybe 18 is what it is. But, uh, you know, once Earl unified, you know, and I unified, then what you going to say about my coach? Which can you say? You know, he better than Ronnie Shields to me. And I don't care what they think. And I'm better than every fighter Ronnie Shields has, even my twin brother. And eventually, everybody understand that. Period. I ain't on fly than everybody. They can't touch me. I'm better, skillfully. I got. I feel like me and my brother got close to the same power, and I'm 154.